Welcome back, boys and girls, for another Google Tools lesson. This time, we're going to be adding shapes to our Google Slides. Um, there's a lot of different kinds of shapes you can add, circles, squares, triangles, arrows, and even different mathematical signs. You can also change the colors of the shapes on the inside. Um, you can also make the border thicker. And you can even add um, straight lines or squiggly lines as well. Um, to insert a shape, again, you can, just like when we added images and text boxes, you can go to the toolbar drop-down menu that says Insert. And you can either add a shape, which is the square and the circle symbol next to each other. They have an, an arrow. And there's shapes, a lot of different kinds of shapes you can add, different types of arrows call outs like speech bubbles and stars and even equation signs like pluses minuses multiplication signs division signs and equals that you can add um if you're not interested in adding a shape sometimes you may have to add a line which is well below the shape button but you can add lines arrows connectors curved pieces scribbles um all sorts of different options as well so we're going to start by adding a shape, and we'll start by adding, let's see, a, a triangle. So we'll go to shapes, and we'll find the triangle shape. So you click on the triangle, and then again, you get the plus size but plus, plus sign button, sorry, boys and girls, and um, it shows up on your screen. Then you use your mouse, and you click and drag, and a triangle will appear. You can make it as small or as big as you want it. Once you're done, you let go of the mouse, and a triangle will appear. Um, there's a blue, a blue outline around it. You can then decide, well, I don't like the color of that triangle, so I'm going to change it. So once you've clicked on it and the blue box is outlining it, you can go up to your toolbar where it says fill color. It's like a little paint bucket with drips out of it. And you can pick any color you want to change it to. For instance, I'm going to change it to like a pink color. So, whoops. Uh, so, I've changed the shape color to pink. Well, I also want a darker outline. So, what you can do is next to fill color, it says border color. Border is the outline. So, you'll click border. And I want a black border around it. And I also want a thick border which is these different lines. I want a really thick border, like an eight border. And that will make the border much thicker around the shape. Okay? So that's adding, making a triangle or any kind of shape um, using the insert button. Now I want to insert a line. So I'm going to go down to line. I'm going to do an arrow. Um, again, I have clicked arrow, so then I just click and drag, and my arrow appears. I can make the arrow point down. I can make the arrow point, oops, I dragged it. Oops, I'm sorry. I can make the arrow point back up again or up that way. You can change the color of the arrow the same way that we changed the triangle. You'll just click on line color and make it, let's make it red. Um, and I've made the arrow red. Um, you can also add shapes and lines by the toolbar. If you see the circle and the square button shape, and then th in this case it's already listed as an arrow, but you can drop down and change it to something different. Um, but again, we'll add another shape using the toolbar button, and we'll do um, a plus sign under equations. And again, we've, we've um, clicked and dragged. My plus sign appears. I'm going to change it to this bright aqua color. And then I'm going to add a line this time as well. Maybe I want a really thick line this time. So I'll go to line weight and I'll make it a 12. And I want it to be yellow. Again, there's two different ways. You can do insert shape or line. Or you can go to the toolbar shape and line are right next to each other. And again, you just click and drag right on the screen, and then it will prompt you to change the colors and borders if you want to. Uh, that's adding shapes, so good luck. Make sure you follow 
the instructions on the task on the assignment page, and then you'll be able to add your shapes.